Oh. Wait, you already... I think we've re-unlocked some laws here. Because clearly, win vote thing was already in there. I think. Just starting your game. Eh, maybe. Well, I don't want to do it. I kind of want to play this through to the final era. But yeah, I am, I am legitimately worried that, like... Because of I played you know two month pre release build version, um, that there was you know a missing trigger for a certain set of laws that never happened, and never will happen. Oh, more taxes. Oh, there he is. There we are. Um, you oh, now we're gonna increase the taxes on commercial companies. I'm not gonna I'm not spending any political capital on this one way or another. They can do whatever the hell they want. Those are laws not needed. Yeah, I get that, but the problem is I can't vote to change a law. So I guess that's it. Okay. Because their law is not edicts, they won't show up in just the edict list. I get that. But I can't prompt my own law to get started. So what I think it is, um it's probably an era one tech. Um uh, like rights of man. Nope. Maybe it's not even. It's like the rights of assembly. Okay, maybe it's still... Actually, that was here, right? No, that was women's rights in that. Livelihood, lower class barriers. Is there a chance that there's still one in here? I guess not. I don't. I mean, maybe you guys are seeing it, but a rights to assembly in one of these. Maybe it does come later. Is that possible? If I'm not seeing any of these lists, lower class just showed up. Okay. Yeah, but that was like 45 seconds ago, so I don't... It wasn't just... I mean, there's lower class barriers. But that's not it. There's secret ballot voting. But that, I think, we've already passed. Could it be Era 4 stuff? Is that possible? Are we going to ban pornography? The Christian Democrats feel that we should ban pornography. Um, Again, I think I play with a relatively sort of like... I mean, certain, certainly, like, more left-wing, but also from a liberal conservative point of view, more liberal. I'm not going to tell people what they can or can't do um, as much as possible, I suspect. So I think we're going to oppose the band. Although, we're going to take a look at what would happen. So, this is if we did ban pornography. It would... Oh, these mouse overs don't really work. Less fun. <laughs> Less fun for you. <laughs> more security. Okay, we're going to oppose the ban. Ongoing battle against immorality. The Christian Democrats propose a total ban on forms of pornography. They're the only people who are in favor of it. Everyone else is like, no. Okay, yeah, let's take a look at the era four and five texts. There might be something in here. Oh, it feels like it's we're well past this stuff. There's copyright protection. I mean, there's no way that it would come after this. Like, there's no way. Like, Arrow 5, like, all the crazy high-tech stuff. Yeah, I'm wondering if, like, the tech trees, like, literally doesn't have the same things. 1930s video games. Yeah, we should rush that. Well, we've got satellites now. That's great. Handed in an unprecedented duel with nature, could one dream of anything more? But we should rush just to, play, to video games, right? Get them as soon as possible. That and personal computers. I mean, let's be real, right? I guess I can go paper office. Ooh, email! And science center. You know, personal computers into video games? Or plastics. Oh, there. Okay, here's where we unlock the exhibition center. 
Um, you know what? I'll start with plastics into video games. Yeah, let's do it. Satellite question. Space race between the United States and Soviet Union led to rapid technological advances in communication sciences. Science satellites are becoming more and more common. How should we approach this technology? Skip it too expensive. No, build our own satellite, obviously. Ooh, which is an eavesdropping law. So more security, but less personal growth. Whatever, I want a satellite. It's cool. As we're turning this game into Kerbal Space Program. When we played this game, I thought it was a random pop-up at the start of the beginnings era. It could be that, and then maybe we didn't get there because, again, of things. Moderate party wins the election. Space race in the 30s. You're goddamn right. Wimpy mayor. Oh, vote. So it's the time for the election. All right. Hope for faded economy. Let's take a look at the vote for new mayor here. Oh, no, that's the wimpy mayor as a separate event. Freedom party keeps calling you a wimp because the party thinks you're too soft. Um, it's no shame to be considerate. Like, suck it up, buddy. Oh, prestige. Okay, mayoral vote. Um, currently, we have more support for us, even though a lot of these parties are like, eh, I don't know. I'm just going to threaten all these people. Do you think you're someone? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that, that did change the um, <laughs> the guaranteed things. That's okay. I'm just going to browbeat the hell out of this. You should be, you know, be careful if you oppose me. Yeah, so what I've done is I'm upsetting some people who are 100% locked on the other side, but overall the party is going to swing my way. I'll be slightly more like, you know, this would benefit other people. Yeah, see? So some what's happening is some people just aren't swayed altogether. This should be fine. Oh, safe houses for abused women is going to pass with ease. Nice. And women's rights in school elections, which I thought we had a million years ago, so I'm kind of confused as to why we're doing this now. But yeah, I think I think it's like the old save problem. Because women's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this I think was a school that oh, no, that's own property, stand in court, right to vote, right to abortion. No, that's something else then. Where's the school law thing? I don't know. Yeah, I suspect we're not going to be able to pass a lot of these because the errors are broken. Mm. That feeling when the party most in quills favors fascists every time! I think they like the fact that I just yell at people if I don't get what I want. Hey, I didn't get involved in any of this tax vote, though. So these another party was trying to pass um, raising taxes on the commerce. And um, I was like, yeah, whatever. I prefer higher taxes, that's fine. We're actually losing a little bit of money right now. But I think we're overall, we're pretty close to a balanced budget, actually. It just because it's swinging back and forth all the time. We still have a little bit in the bank. I'm okay. We haven't had the same mayor for 150 years. It's been every era, there's a new mayor. That's something in the game. Have you not noticed this, actually? <laughs> This is not like civilization where you have one ruler for an empire the whole time. Every era has a different mayor. Plastics. Um, rector of the university steps into your office and says, Mayor, I have just one word for you. Just one word. Plastics. And change the world. I think the city should prepare for them. We can support plastic research or sub subsidize the plastic or subside. I'm assuming that's supposed to be subsidized. The plastic industry. Uh, we don't have the money to subs su to subside it, so we're just going to support the research. Plus, research is kind of our thing. There we go. More brain power. Excellent. Vote on new mayor. We're going to crush it. Well, by crush, I actually mean vin winning by a relatively slim margin. But there we go. Upgrade power plant. Right, the satellites gave us the upgrade for that. Thank you. Um, and people are not going to ban pornography. Hooray! That one had a way to start. At the bottom, isn't there a graph for economy? Well, there's this. This is city data. Which has a variety of categories. As far as I know, there's not a graph for just economy. I mean, there's income from different categories. 
business areas, the state laws, the city info. Wow, the elite make up 14%. This is not like the 1% at all. Oh, the, a lot of unemployment over here too in the elite and middle class. Wow. That's interesting. Um, so, power plant. Um, if we do this, this is going to uh, give us a decrease to boost of, or to, of sales demand for all industrial companies. We're going to have to sell less to make money. It would cost us $4 million to do, and we don't have that money right now. So, I'm going to hold off. Typewriter. The alcohol industry has acquired the city's first typewriter. Yeah, that's an old event. The new invention is set to speed up writing and results in easily readable text. You pay a visit. To, yeah, this is this is an event that reissued itself because of our re-research of things. Um, all companies should use typewriters. Actually, they're all going to start using computers. But father, your father still continues his morbid experiments with dead animals and electricity. Oh, that's right. Recently, he has tried to acquire actual human bodies, so things are getting creepy. Kolopolis Daily loves to write about him and would love to have your comments too. Um, I'm going to condemn the experiments. It's going to make me a cruel. Plastics! So we can build an exhibition center, which sounds like fun. We got plastics business and plastic parts boost sales. All right, video games, you guys. Boom. It's 1938. We're researching video games. I think it'll be done in 1939, just in case for the war. Quill, cool. time isn't an exact science. There's a page two for some of those stat windows. Yes, I realize, but I think it's just like more list. Well, okay, right. Flip from um, income to expenses. But I mean, I don't think there's just a graph of um, of world stats. So, I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Video games. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. Era will change in 12 months, you guys. I mean, we're already several techs into Era 4. But that's okay. So yeah, our, our budget should be balanced as the economy keeps tweaking. It'll be interesting to see exactly what happens when we do go into war here. Look at all the lights going on. Oh, that's so lovely. And we've got not a whole lot of foot traffic, actually. Or cars. Oh, there's some cars and buses. I think we need more high density. Oh, Mayor recommends. Movie theater successful company in Tertia Town. Its owner would like to use the slogan recommended by the mayor in their advertisement. If you grant permission, movie theater will make a sizable donation. Sure. I want money. Personal funds. Cool. So I have tons of personal funds. I could use that to push through some changes, actually, including potentially a density change. I wonder. It would cost about $2 million. I just barely don't have enough. Check the road usage. Um, yeah, so this was a, like a funky one to see. Road capacity is 60k over 63k. So we're almost capped on road capacity, but not over. Here we're under. Here we're under. Assuming I'm reading that correctly. Here we're well over. This town here, this area here needs some public transit or better roads. So that'll be the other modification we do to uh, Trisno once we also go at a high density. Era 4 is done! So we're fast-forwarding a bit here. This is what tends to happen between eras. Is So this leads up to World War II. We sort of skip World War II and then enter into the Cold War era. So now Adele, our daughter, is taken over. Um, I think it's auto-saving. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. As a child, Adele was enchanted by her father George's work on Z1, the world's first programmable computer. Woo! As she grew up, she realized the possibilities of computer technology holds and went on to study electromechanics. Like her ancestors, she was a visionary, constantly pushing the boundaries of possibility. The biggest adversary she faced was gender. It was uncommon for women to work in computer science, and repeated sexist and antiquated comments led her into politics. I am honest and progressive going into era four. Um, the pacifist party have been voted in. The Freedom Party, the fascists, have been voted out, as well as the Progressive Party, which I don't think ever got a seat. Um, it also obsoleted a lot of laws. Like, it obsoleted Joint National Electric Grid because I think everyone's just forced to do it now. It's just the way things are. Service demand changes. So there's going to be a lot more demand for personal growth, social life, health, security, eh, fun, eh. But yeah, all right. New era. I wonder if that's going to change our buildings. 
our video game law or uh, tech just passed christian democratic party wins the election we are going to go for personal computers boom and video games video games are becoming more and more popular this new form of entertainment and culture is causing worries among the elder generations the city administration is pondering how this new invention will change city culture should they focus on make sure obscene games are banned conduct research on the topic let the people game now we've been very pro research and all these things but i feel like let the people game is exactly what we're going to go for i mean come on so this is going to increase fun for all citizens blam excellent let's give a little pause here bring back the dreamcast uh missed a couple of tips coming in we got one from shonix a little while ago got my first job doing research into computer science education aid thanks to your tutorials and videos Woo! So here's part of my first paycheck to celebrate. Quill win. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome, Shonix. Congratulations. Now you've been a watcher for a very, very, very long time. That's very exciting. Congratulations. Haunted Serenity as well. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your Factorio series. Thanks to you, I have been happily been building massive complexes, making grandiose plans, polluting everything, and tanking my social life. Keep up the good work. That does sound like Factorio, so congratulations there. That sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you very much for the tip. Quill the Messiah. Let my people game. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if finishing the tier 2 tech will make a difference. We are getting pop-ups, but they are for things we've already passed, and it doesn't seem to be ticking some other things. I think we're just going to keep going for now. Plus, I mean, we want computers and stuff. Um, so, we still don't have a whole lot of city... Oh, Miss Quilopolis. You came up with the idea of a beauty pageant to choose uh, Miss Quilopolis and appointed yourself as main judge. What should the winner of the pageant be like? Young, healthy, and beautiful, modest with good reputation. People of Quilopolis should vote and choose the winner. I don't like the implication of modest with good reputation. Why can't we have Miss Quilopolis be the smartest person in the city? The, it, it should be a game jam competition is what it should be. 48 hours, make the best video game, and then you're Miss Quilopolis. That's the way it should work. Um, we'll make it into a reality thing. The people of Quilopolis should, choose, should vote to choose the winner. Boop. This is going to lead to a bonus to fun for the entire city um, and giving me points towards the populist trait. Yeah, okay. So, satisfaction... Oh, I was going to say... Satisfaction still seems super high. Um, it hadn't ticked over a month yet. So now this is this represents the new values and the new requirements. Personal growth is still through the roof, which makes sense because we still have a ton of schools and things like that. In fact, our research rates are still huge. Fun's good. Um, health has dropped because the requirements there have gone up considerably. I don't know if we've made any improvements to the hospital. We could give them more funding. We don't have money right now. Ooh. Uh, are we... Okay, we like lost a million dollars that month. But it's okay, it got better. Um, welcome to your new office, Adele St. Elias. Like your father, you were fascinated by the new computer technology and ended up studying electromagnetics mechanics. Uh, but like your mother, you finally traded science for a career in politics. Who w should be the most excited by your election to mayor? Upper class workers, scientists, women. You know what? It's going to be upper class workers because I'm promising to bring jobs to upper class people. Because right now, the elite and upper class are super unemployed. Boom. Direct bonus to happiness. So I don't want to raise taxes more, although maybe we will. Hoping this, like, comes back here. We still have huge demand for this. I'd actually just like a new district. Or to get the high density up in here. Which uh, I could pay for myself in a little while. Although, yeah. Oh, we need to spy over here. I know that uses some personal funds, but I think that's okay. So these guys keep mucking around with the taxes for businesses. There we go. Raise it up to here, which they're going to be fine with. Ooh, they really don't like that. We have no... Okay, so this is about as much as they're going to support. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Propose that. Oh, no. It, it was very deceptive. They're actually way more in favor of this than it looked like. Still, I'll, I don't have to browbeat anyone. This is going to pass. We'll get a slightly more tax dollars. Um, already our deficit is shrinking, which is good. I mean, our debt's still going to grow for a little while. There we go. It's actually turning a slight profit now. So that's going to be fine. 
Oh, that's a huge, huge change. I'm betting what happened here with the new era, I'm betting a lot of businesses and things were switching over. And so there might have been less businesses active. There is no residential demand whatsoever right now. Lots of commercial, lots of industrial demand as well. I think there's just a giant economic change going on here. Yeah, see, I've, I've got the taxes kicking in. Well, they haven't kicked in yet, and we're still making tons of money, so... Oh, well. Personal computer. The old saw from a decade ago that all of Swirelia would never need more than 10 computers is now being thrown out with the introduction of personal computers. Science fiction has become reality now that anyone can buy a cheap computer as powerful as the ones that put a man on the moon. Well, it's 1948. No one stepped on the moon yet. Unless they were Swirelian, because apparently we're super advanced people. Because um, that happened in 1969. Uh, what would you think will be the biggest impact? The fact that it's use in business at home or it's a fad. Well, it's not a fad. The biggest impact, long term, will be at home, especially once we get the internet up and people make friendships internationally. So I'm going to say that. So this is going to decrease sales demand for something we don't actually have yet, since I can't mouse over this, as far as I can tell. It's a little bit odd, but there you have it. Okay, we're going to vote on modifying the taxes, so we're going to increase taxes on businesses slightly. Not that, you know, it's still going to help. Easily passed. I could have been more aggressive, but there we go. So our income will go up a tiny little bit here. And yeah, I'm actually wondering about redeveloping one of our existing districts to be more oriented towards industry and commerce. I mean, this is already really industrial over here because it's kind of a little bit out of the way. I don't know. Sexual Orientation Act. It is hereby proposed that homosexuality no longer be recognized as a disease. I support this. Bam. Parenting concerns. Teenagers of Waltondale often gather to play rock and roll songs on the jukebox and dance together. <gasps> Boys and girls? Many parents would like you to condemn this behavior. No, if you were younger, you'd do the same. Shut up. We need to build computers for the masses, not for the class. Yeah, computers for the masses. Pirate copy inspections. What? Um, programming. Adult males get more personal growth. What? Adult? Come on! Ah, software development, computer games, electronic stores. Progress cloud. Okay. So that was all fine. I suppose I, I kind of feel like I should finish this area with the paperless office, especially if we get the exhibition center, we can upgrade it to the science center. More computery kind of things. Sure. Mm -hmm. Can't ban rock and roll. I mean, we probably could, but yes, we really shouldn't. <laughs> so I want a high density, or I need to put in uh, better roads over here, because our um, road capacity, we're at 68k over 25k. So we need to do more than one change here. I was going to use personal funds for it, but I'm willing to bet we're just going to be able to do it with the city now, and probably pretty easily. I'll try to bank a little bit more before I make a change. There you go. Something like this. Uh, plus, the vote's going to have to go through. But we got 3 million as is. So, we're going to go to high density. Also, I actually don't want to change the zoning here. Environment be damned. Um, if we're going to do anything, almost like... Maybe here next to the port, should we actually tank the residential zone? I mean, I know people are saying, oh, the ideal ratio is like 40, 40, 20. But I'm actually thinking we need, especially in this era, a lot more industry demand. And we're right next to the port, right? I think it makes sense. I think what we're going to do is we're in fact going to go 40, 40, 20. There you go, like this, the other way around. Now, they're not a fan of, of the density change as is, but if we go and implement more of these things, they tend to be a little bit happier. Um, yes, and the road is a huge problem, so we need to get the roads to the max. And you guys are really being cranky about this. Hmm. Oh, we need an actual clinic over here. So it looks like there's no hope of getting this to, to go through as is. I wonder what part of it they hit the most.
who told me 44 was ideal? Oh, just Twitch chat a bunch of times. But I think, you know, it's one of those things. People, like, hear one thing that it's the best, and then they, they have to spam it. But I'm willing to bet there's, like, all sorts of contextual things.